Looking to do a little more with your serger? How about a flat lock stitch? A great way to attach two thick pieces of fabric. Hi, I'm Angela Wolf. Today I want to show you how to do a flat lock stitch with your serger. This stitch is great for decorative stitches. It could be on home deck. I use this on my fleece jackets for fishing, sportswear, yoga, anything like that. What you're doing is you're taking two thick pieces of fabric and you're running a stitch along the edge. So this, although it looks like one piece, is two pieces of fabric that are combined with one nice thin flat lock stitch. It reduces the bulk of a thick seam. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is change some settings on the serger. I've printed off my serger settings, which you might have seen me use in the past, and this is where I have listed all of the settings on a serger that could possibly be changed. Of course, if you're not using a Brother serger, be sure to check your manual for specific settings. We're going to be using a three thread wide overlock stitch. So we're using the left needle, we're going to remove the right needle, and then use both loopers. The tension for the left needle needs to be decreased between 0 and 3. 4 is the standard setting for this machine. So I'm just going to pick, let's go with 2 to start with. The stitch we won't be using, that's the right needle. The upper looper needs to decrease in tension somewhere between 2 and 5, which 5 is more, but it says 2 to 5. So why don't we start with a 3, right in the middle. And the lower looper tension needs to be increased between 6 and 9. So I'm going to start with a 7. All of these settings might change depending on how thick your fabric is. I'm going to remove the right hand needle. I have my machine with my foot up and I'm just going to slide this in the right hand side and remove the right hand needle. It's a good idea to tighten that screw back up for the right hand needle just so when the machine starts running it doesn't fall out. We're going to change the stitch width to a 5.0 which is the standard setting. The differential feed will just stay on its standard setting of 1 and the stitch length will be between a 2 and a 3. I'm going to just leave it at a 3 for now. We're going to be using a blind hem foot and for this machine it's plastic through here and this will protect the knife from cutting off the fabric and we're going to butt the edges of the fabric up right along that edge. The idea for this foot is once you have your two layers of thick fabric it's going to run along this plastic edge. This will protect your fabric from the knife and your stitches will just barely capture the edge of this fabric. You're going to notice they're going to be hanging off and look a little bit messy. Pull the fabric tight it's going to look great. Remove the standard foot, slide this underneath, it should just snap in place. Take your two pieces of fleece fabric and line up these edges so they're just touching. If for some reason this edge is crooked, run it through a rotary cutter so it's nice and straight. Lift up the presser foot and just insert the fabric and the idea is that the thread We'll just touch the edge and hang off of the fabric a little bit. I'm going to open this cover and if you look closely you can see the needle is just piercing part of the fabric and there's a big section of thread that's hanging off. That's exactly how you want it to look. And one more tip I want to point out, if for some reason your thread is not hanging off of the fabric, you can use this dial here to adjust the plastic on this foot to the far right or left. Adjust it as needed. Just lift this up and I'm going to pull out the thread. And you'll see, if you look closely, you see the thread hangs off. It's not very pretty, but that's okay. It's not going to stay that way. Instead, once you open this fabric and give it a little bit of a tug, you get this beautiful stitch and on this side you just kind of finger push those threads around until they're nice and evenly spread and this is what you have one piece of fabric it looks like a continuous piece of fabric nice and thin and if you look right into it there's no seam now it's just connected I think you'll find a lot of uses for this application 
Again, I'm Angela Wolf, and for more sewing tips and tutorials, be sure to visit AngelaWolf.com and BrotherSews.com. Until next time, happy serging. Mm -hmm.